Okay, cool. Well, cool. welcome back to Badass Fans Live. We're here with Down and Outlaws today. Thank you guys for coming in. Thank you for Ooh. having us, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the last few bands I've come in here after I do that little like spiel, they feel like they have to be really formal and say someone in, in the uh, band has to like say something very formal back. So they speak, yeah. It's all, it's all in the setup. <laughs> um, we're gonna start off on the wheel today, guys. So who oh, wants uh, to go first? John. Oh, I guess. John yeah, first. What, so what do I have to do? So basically, I'm gonna spin <laughs> off for you and okay. just hold this up, and did, did, you're did, gonna did, tell did, me did, stop did, did. and okay. whatever uh, it is. Okay. Ready? Ready? Go, go, stop. Favorite gig ever. <laughs> Favorite gig ever. Aha. Like that I played, played or that I went yeah, to? That you've played. Um, dang. I think the, the showcase that we just did at uh, South by Southwest, the Live Nation gig, yeah, was, was amazing. Like one of the best sound systems I'd ever played through. Nice. Like I, when I hit the kick drum, I could feel it in my <laughs> chest. Whereas, you know, you want everybody else to feel it and you yeah. like, kind of hope you can hear it in the monitors. I would hit it and like the stage would rumble. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah this is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it was stupid. That's yeah. rad. Where that's was awesome. it at? Um, uh, it was on just off of Sixth Street, and, like Sixth oh, okay. and Red River. It was a little outdoor, outdoor stage yeah. that they built, and it was like it, basically the equivalent of like an outside land stage set up, but in this room. Like it was nice. Insane. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, awesome. I think it's <laughs> funny. Wow. I think it's normally like a vacant lot. Yeah. 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 Sick. It was awesome. All right, Chris, you ready? Yeah. All right, let's do this. <laughs> uh, stop. Last song you danced to? Uh, <laughs> Chris, Chris dances a lot. So. I don't need I don't need any songs to dance. Um, all I need is three bites of pizza. Uh, no, probably the Foles. Uh, like every all all of their songs. I got to see them a couple weeks ago, and just yeah, they're good dancing music. And Sweet. yeah, just generally. Yeah. All right. Okay, Kylie, you ready? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Stop. First celebrity crush? <laughs> oh, no. This is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to be swift about this, but it might, dude, it might have been like, dude, I don't know, it was the 90s, things were weird. <laughs> <laughs> it may have been, I think it may have even been like Britney Spears or Christina Aguilera or something like that. Makes sense. I have no idea, though. Solid. Oh, oh, never mind. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. No, no. Yeah. What's up? Topanga <laughs> from Boy Meets Oh, yeah, nice. Topanga's a good one. She still looks like exactly the same, too, yeah. which is crazy, yeah. Yeah. Good for her. I don't know, maybe can I phone a friend? I can call my dad and be like, hey, dad, who's my friend? Uh, <laughs> Alright, Peter, you ready? Oh. Let's do it. Alright, here we go. Stop! <laughs> what was his last song you danced to as well? Oh, man. <laughs> I just went to a wedding uh. <laughs> with uh, my Filipino girlfriend. They're all really short, but really, I'm just really tall, so... I was dancing like a tree. <laughs> <laughs> like I couldn't give you a name, but Thriller was when I really uh, fell into my own. You really just cut loose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's it. Nice. That's All right. Nice. All right. Very That's very good. Tree. <laughs> <laughs> the tree. <laughs> All right, so general, some band questions. And you guys have done been on Badass Bands before, so you have done yeah. this question for sure. But for anyone who hadn't read it, how did you guys all meet? Uh, me and this guy are brothers. Uh, we were in another band that saw its demise. And then at the time, <laughs> <laughs> these two guys were also in another band that we rented a practice space out to. We kind of oh, had nice. met each other prior to that, but yeah. that's how it ended up. Okay, yeah. and how long ago band. was that? Three years. Three years, yeah. yeah. It was like okay. 10 days. 10 days. Yeah. Yeah. It was yesterday. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Nice, okay. Yeah. And you guys have a new album coming out this Indeed. month. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you recorded that at Dave Grohl's Studio 606, correct? Yeah. yeah. Cool, and how did you guys pick that spot specifically? Uh, we had a friend that we met just from hanging out down here, and she just happened to be an engineer there. Oh, or, nice. or She was an yeah. assistant. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. an assistant yeah. engineer. Uh, so we just got to be friendly with her, and it was obviously a great studio. And besides that, the... Uh, producer or main engineer that works there just had uh, the same kind of views on 
the songs we were recording. So it just kind of ended up being a good fit. The fact that it was that studio is just kind of an added wow. bonus. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. A lot of luck. Yeah, it's just the people. Timing. Yeah, they just vibe great. Right? So, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. And when you guys were making an album, like how many songs did you have? How do you go about oh, like man. whittling it down <laughs> to the ones that actually make it on the album? Yeah, we, we wrote 25 beforehand over about a year and wow. then cut it down yeah. to yeah. the first was like 15 i think yeah. the first cut was down to 15 and then from there it was 12 12 yeah and oh. then we ended up recording 10 no we recorded, we recorded 12, 12. 12. Uh, we're 12. not 12. using two of them yeah yeah, yeah we're not okay. using two. Uh, we did uh, all of it in like a week which was wow was like boot camp which is fun but it was it was long. good yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah we did uh seven like 13 hour days in the studio oh yeah. my god yeah. that's yeah. Not <laughs> it was great yeah. i've never had that much coffee. Uh, in my <laughs> yeah, I was doing. I was doing that's, yeah, that's a fact. No, just keep doing. I was doing background vocals on the last day with food poisoning. Just oh on, no! Denny, yeah. No thanks oh. to Denny's French toast. He, uh, he laid on his. Uh, he laid on his back on the ground. We just put a mic near him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was not doing well. Uh, <laughs> Wow. I learned after the fact our engineer was just being like, one more take, Chris, just one more. Ha 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 ha. As soon as he turned off the talkback mic. Nice. <laughs> Thank you, though. <laughs> <laughs> And the album is titled Above Snakes. How mm -hmm. did you come up with that name? Uh, well, we had a lot of other um, names in the running. The top contender before that was Down in Outlaws on Ice. <laughs> Which turned uh, out to be a great book. <laughs> yeah. uh, but, uh, yeah, yeah we, Ended up finding out that um, above snakes is an old west term for it, it means still alive. Mm -hmm. Like if you were above snakes and you were still living, huh. and that kind of goes in theme with I don't know, we're back. I guess I don't know. We're here. Yeah. Hello. Well, like, oh, <laughs> well, 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 with the lyrical content and yeah, yeah, sort of yeah, yeah. the vibe that we wanted to put out. So yeah, the song yeah. backwards from the dead. Yeah, it's all together. Yeah. And speaking of songs, like I talk to bands, I always like to know about song titles. Mm. And so some bands, like, eh, they're like, whatever, we don't really care that much about titles. Mm -hmm. How are you guys? Do you guys think about it a lot, or is it just kind of an easy thing for you? Uh, most of them are just kind of like, whatever is the closest to the subject matter of the song, so it's yeah. probably a lyric, or like a portion of a lyric, that's yeah. like a default, because it's a title, and no, it just kind of gives it a nice cover, but yeah. sometimes it's a little different. But yeah. Gotcha. Okay. And you guys are playing a lot more shows down here in LA, which is awesome yeah. for me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but now that you've been, you're getting a little bit more into the LA scene, a little bit more regular down here, differences between SF, LA? I know we've talked about them separately, not on camera before. But. Yeah. Uh, it's hard. I mean, we just get to come down here and have fun, and we don't have as many expectations as in San Francisco. So yeah. there's still a lot for us to discover down here and a lot of more a lot many new people to meet we kind of feel like we know most of what's going on up there so yeah. it's not as much of a surprise at least to me yeah gotcha. well uh, it's just LA that is a bigger city to be yeah. in and yeah. uh, there's kind of more happening at any given time because mm -hmm. there's just physically more people here and more space but unlike anything else it just takes a lot of time you know keep coming down and eventually people start remembering your name yeah you know so it just takes a long time totally yeah and you guys just in general go out and see a lot of music and support a lot of other bands so when you go out to a show though and you see a new band that you've never seen like what do you guys look for in a band that you like get really stoked on oh i just i just want to see i just want that i just want to believe what, the, what they're <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 i want to believe yeah. um, i mean yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Close up for the camera. Uh, they're uh, yeah no as long as long as as long the criteria is basically are they genuine yeah yeah and, I, and even if it's not my taste in music I'll still be like hell yeah and then like you know go see him again or something yeah, yeah. there's, there's yeah. been a handful of times that we've been at shows either like through friends or whatever and just st standing in the audience and like well you know and like oh, it's not really my bag but damn it they're good at it yeah yeah yeah, like, yeah. and that's yeah. and just seeing really solid people coming out of different areas is like we have a lot of LA bands come up to SF and it's the same sort of thing like trying to make connections and meeting new people and yeah it's cool mm -hmm. nice yeah um what do you think the biggest challenge is being an indie band <laughs> <laughs> I mean I know there's like a billion yeah. but <laughs> I think Josh was just talking about this the s social media and yeah. kind of treating things as running your own business a little bit is just <coughs> so distracting from actually making music. Yeah. 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 I think we'd make a lot more if people just did things for you, which is 
ridiculous. That's <laughs> not, the way, that's not the way it is. Uh, but yeah, so yeah. yeah, there's just a lot more distractions, I think, which is a, an excuse. But yeah, yeah, I think it's a lot, a lot of things to just keep up with, where yeah. it's like, exactly like with social media and updating those things, and then also like maintaining the contacts that you meet and sending the, right, the same emails, yeah. and yeah. then all of those things that you have to be creative on the other side too. It's like dedicating uh-huh. yourself to the making of the music as well yeah. as like yeah. the upkeep of everything else, yeah. Another thing is just um, being able to maintain financial stability and also yeah. have the ability to leave town whenever yeah. you want yeah. or have to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, that that to me is number one. That's always been the most difficult, but I mean, we've all found our own ways to <laughs> make that happen, be able to leave town uh, yeah, whenever I'm, we can. and. Yeah, we're really fortunate that all four of us, uh, like our priority is making this work, <clears throat> and we have figured that out huh, at least in the short term how to you know keep going. But yeah, there's no way if not every, if everyone's not on the same page, yeah, uh, then the, you can't do anything. But we're really fortunate that all of us have kind of found a, a groove that we can work as a unit, which makes the upkeep and the traveling and all that like possible at all. Yeah, yeah. less just pulling oh. teeth. Uh, yeah. yeah, everybody wants to do it. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I've only I've only had to sell my body like twice uh, <laughs> when, when I really get down there. But, uh, Peter's only here so he doesn't get fined. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's actually true. <laughs> All right, and last question. So you're releasing this album, yeah. and what else is going on for you guys the rest of this year? Um, playing as much shows as possible. Oh, yeah. Pretty yeah. much. We're going nice. to try and run up and down the coast a few more times yeah. and expand and yeah. we're going to start after it. start demoing some stuff yeah. for the next record. Um, yeah. And um, start putting that together and see what that sounds like. Yeah. 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 Nice. Can't stop running. Yeah. 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 Don't stop. Brad? 